Hello, thanks so much for coming down this afternoon because we have found a few quite interesting things recently uh, and it's surprising what does turn up. There's a huge amount of breweriana, brewery memorabilia out there uh, and uh, it makes sense if it, if it comes to a single place. Uh, and what we found recently are these wonderful posters and they came in um, to us um, a few weeks ago uh, and they were published in the 1950s, uh, early 1950s, uh, and they were produced by an artist called Clive Upton. Uh, now Clive Upton was quite well known during the war. Uh, he was a contemporary of um, Illingworth that your older readers will um, have heard of. Uh, and he um, produced a lot of war work, a lot of caricatures, cartoons um, during the war. Um, he then went on to illustrate the Ladybird books, um, the covers of those which again lots of your older readers will recognise. He had a very distinctive style uh, and um, these posters, there are 20 of them, and they are entitled Tavern Topics. And what's intriguing about them, not only because they were done by this guy, um, but um, the topics they cover then in the 1950s were exactly the same as the topics which um, everyone's concerned with today. Um, with um, uh, brewing techniques, with um, pubs, with pricing, with taxation, all things which um, concern um, people today and the profits, of course, um, of, the, of the business. Uh, but in no particular order, this one um, deals with uh, uh, the brewing of beer. It's a very um, charming 1950s stylized uh, depiction um, with raw materials, the preparation, the brewing process, uh, the byproducts. Um, beautifully produced, lovely big size as you can see, and all produced by um, um, Holden's in, uh, in London. Uh, so that's just one of them we've got. This one, number 19, uh, this is the regulars, and I suspect that not many pubs would look quite the same as that um, today, with um, lots of jackets, lots of ties, lots of pipes. Uh, animals, etc., bare floors, uh, but um, a wonderful depiction of the, the, ide the idealism, um, but the conviviality of pubs, uh, everyone um, getting on, from um, the squire down to the uh, uh, shepherd. Uh, it's a super, super depiction. Very, very well observed in the detail, too, in the dress, um, etc. <coughs> this is another one. Uh, this is called Penny Off the Pint. And this deals with um, taxation, uh, etc., reduction in um, pricing, the effect it would have, uh, etc. And again, it's uh, uh, set in a conventional pub, traditional pub, darts going on in the background. Uh, again, typical 1950s uh, co uh, costume, ties, hats, pipes, cigarettes. Uh, etc. And very much two guys who clearly come into the pub after work, um, they're having a pint, they're having a chat about um, pricing. Uh, and in the back background the locals are playing um, darts. Chemicals. Now I'll just, just take these four at, uh, at random. This one's due, uh, concerning chemicals, what goes into beer, uh, what shouldn't go into beer, uh, materials etc. And uh, the point which it makes, um, in every case, as far as the Government Excise Office represents the public, every stage in brewing is open to public inspection. The quality of beer goes into your glass is jealously guarded by the brewers. Um, I don't think that uh, there is much um, difference in the attitude to um, brewing and in the 1950s um, than it is today. So those are just um, four of the, the, the 20 little gems we've got uh, here. And we are very fortunate that Chapanin does have uh, a good name, does have a good reputation, uh, and a lot of people do um, come to us and ask us about things they have or things that they're, they're happy to um, give us, which do with all aspects of um, the history. Uh, and it's by this interaction of, of people coming to us uh, and us helping them in answering their questions uh, that uh, we have this reciprocity that, that we see lots of things uh, which we wouldn't otherwise see um, and of course we deal with lots of interesting and amusing people.